for Frozen chat. That's fun. Uh, but we got Ken versus Sagat, which is an interesting matchup because I'm pretty sure DBGen, haven't they been playing Seth for the last few tournaments? Yeah, Seth has been the prominent character for DB Gen. Um, I know their alternate is Sagat. They play some Sagat too as well. So maybe it's just, uh, you know, maybe DB Gen wants that experience uh, to get that Sagat a little bit more seasoned. But they'll have to get through Gunblade right now, going on with the fierce, going against Ken. It was uh, definitely a very, very strong character this season right here. But we'll see what they can do against uh, DB Gen Sagat. Yeah, I mean, Sagat is obviously an interesting pick, as we do see DBJ able to close out the first round here. But it's not a character that a lot of people traditionally play. It's not a lot of people that, or a lot of, not a character that people traditionally rank very high either. So we're seeing DBJ come out here. I, honestly, I would maybe argue that people even rank Seth higher than Sagat. So interesting choice. Mm -hmm. But here we go P2 yeah, corner. Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely uh, a character that just has been going through the, sh the ringer as far as like where they place here, especially on people's tier list. A much lower paced character, uh, you know, just has to play the traditional fireball zoning war until he can get in to uh, get some damage in on his opponent. So it's a character that deals with a lot of patience and awareness. So we'll see if BB Gin has that, but he's doing a really good job of zoning out on these fireballs despite the life deficit. Oh, just like that, we get the confirm into the activation. Uh, Polenta damage. Curse it, yo. I... Maybe a little bit. Cursing. Yeah, maybe uh, a little bit on that one at least. Oh, come on, man. We just got started. Okay, here we go. It's okay. You can All redeem right. yourself. We got plenty of time ahead of us. Indeed. Indeed. So let's see what these players have here. Both round and peace. Both. Okay. Pretty aggressive start, as I would say. Good jump in. You yeah, can nice get uh, all right. Both players spending their V meter defensively. All right. I kind of like it. It does yeah, kind of mean, though, that good. I don't think DB Gen will get another one this round unless they're super careful at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like they may get that V, that v trigger. Oh, they, actually, they may, but it'll be a late activation here from Gunblade. Let's see. DB Gen going in with that game plan. Fireball zoning. Yeah, I mean, trying to get Gunblade to bite on a jump. I mean, Gunblade's right in that health bar li line where any real confirm into a critical art does have enough damage to close out. And no anti air. I'm actually surprised. Counter hit comes in. Throw tech. Yep. Again, fireball. DBGin has a life lead. Doesn't really have to do too much. Okay, here we go. The confirm from Gunblade gets the grab. Just a wake up backdash coming from DBGen. Mm -hmm. felt felt a little risky but they got away with it and yeah and then, just too scary to be jumping at sagat right now mm, that definitely was a game of patience uh for sure a, a test for gunblade actually um you know there was 23 seconds on the clock so you know there was a little bit of time that he could have worked uh before making that big decisions but again i guess uh, gunblade thought i'm just gonna get a read on a fireball and get the jump in he begin always uh one step ahead Taking the, the anti-air there. Here we go for the game two, though. Okay. All right. Got more Off fireballs to... here. Another slow start coming in from both sides, but now that we got knocked down, Gunblade completely following it up, forces the V-reversal out. But your Sagat trapped at the corner. Your, your options aren't amazing compared to Ken's offense. Mm -hmm. And right now, we see that offense in Gunblade Doing pure dominance, especially towards this corner here. He begins in trouble. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take this round here nice and clean. Confirm from Gunblade. Gunblade trying to put make this as even as possible. Of course, just need that one more round on the board to tie it up. 1-1 one, one here, but what a confirm from the crouch. Oh, my God. Yo, back, back at you. Are they fighting right now? Yeah, I mean, this is... This is definitely a slugfest, but it's it's a nice kind of slow controlled slugfest. Because even though we're about to see this offensive portion come in from Gunblade, it's still a defensive offense comparatively for a Ken player, right? Like we're not seeing him like DP on DB Gen's wake up or anything like that. However, oh, that was grimy. Went for the run reset into the back throw just to guarantee the round win. But that's going to tie up the scoreboard as well. 
Yeah, Gumbley putting you around on the board, showing signs of life in this set. Now, here's the big question here from DBGin. Now, do we swap to the set, or are we just going to grind it out with the Sagat? Are we locked in? We're locked yeah. in on, on uh, Sagat. This is the character he believes that can do it. Let's oh, wow. See. Even right away getting that V-Skill okay. into the anti-air DP. Uh, I didn't think that was going to be fast enough, but recovered in time, got the got the motion out. Mm -hmm. Has quite a life lead already, and we're just going back to Sagat's you know history. Yep. Fireballs and DPs. There it is. Keep it nice and simple. At the core gameplay, but just as I say that, here comes Gunplay getting that knockdown. A trouble area for Sagat. Dealing with a lot of rushdown and pressure characters. Oof. He's playing this spacing right, game is. quite there well, though. Just yeah, we as we say that. For Tiger Meat too often. Oof. Just as we say it's going well nice. here, he gets taken to the corner, gets the hit, gets the confirm. Going to be able to close out round one. Good stuff from DB Gim managing to pull it together. Uh, like I was saying earlier, he didn't uh, didn't really do, go for the Tiger Knee too much, but again, just relying on this classic uh, pressure. Wow, what a confirm. Yeah, don't forget, chat, that this right. is uh, pulls rounds. So these are first to twos. They're not the first to threes of later. Uh, for sure, that's that's the main course, the top eight, looking extra delicious with that first to three set. But right now, we got to see which players are going to be sitting at that big table. And Gunblade and DB Gib could be that on the start to that journey. Oh my gosh, what a hit! What a hit! What a hit! Big damage, uh, but it's not, not going to be yet. just enough. Yeah, yes, not quite a pixel. Yeah, B trigger on our side. Do you believe? I don't believe. No, <laughs> this is going to be a bullet hell for you a little don't while. In not this you comeback. Don't in comeback. Nah. Not this one. We're, we're headed to a final round. It only can takes feel one hit. The dragon. All right, let's see. Hold on, activation time. Okay, so he's blocking it out defensive wise. Oh, that jump was so risky. Okay, yeah, definitely threading about the needle with that one. Yeah, he's about to get a bar for an EX dive kick. The thing is, there's only 25 see. seconds left, and yeah. No. There it is. Sagat. There it is. Range definitely a little bit tough to work with there. You know, that I believe they've also played Karin uh, and Akira, if I'm not uh, Akira, if I'm not mistaken. But going in with Jury here, let's see what happens in this set. People are loving Jury lately. <laughs> There's been so many Jury players. Obviously, you know, Just the Kid kind of kicked it off back at count Combo Breaker last year, but we've just been seeing so, so many of these players come out in the online events, and it's great to see. The character's pretty solid, and, you know, there is a bit of practice for Street Fighter VI. Obviously, that's a main character with the starting roster, but Najee off to an amazing lead already. Mm -hmm. Jury is definitely, you know, especially if you're playing Jury right now, like you said, this is definitely the, the character that you want to keep in practice uh, for Street Fighter VI because the majority of her core kit is, uh, you know, translating into that game. So this is just can get you ready for that. <laughs> yeah, but does not say that. Here we go with the activation coming off from Poke. Okay, it's the block here. Oh my gosh, the cross cut. Yo, Najee was ready. Hey, DB Gen with the Prime. Thank you so much. Jury on these nuts. Just a kid knows what's up. Round start. Nice. Pokey's not even allowed to charge up that button. Okay. He's an outstanding medium kick. The bane of uh, many players' existence here, but just as I say that, good confirm here from Poke pushing Naji into the corner. Big damage on the way, and the corner. What's the guess for game situation? We wake up with low short. It's activation. Doc, please. We got violence. Let's go. Listen, they're ready. Look at that. Dash forward. Gets a hit. Gets another one. Just chipping away at this life bar. Pokey can't find the way to fight out just yet. And they get jumped in on. With critical art available, that is more than enough damage to take game one. Now oh, for sure. Najee off to an amazing start. And you know that sets the tone for the rest of the set. When you're willing to wake up with a button, you, you're not scared. You don't want to you, you don't want to hold back. You don't want to not press nothing. Look, I guess they say blocking does no damage. So you know, we waking up with buttons out here. That just means to know that there's limited fear uh, in regards to it. Or they're just not respecting your means. So here we go. Let's see what this game two looks like. Yeah, definitely going to need a little bit more 
of this neutral game to be had, honestly, for Pokey. They just were getting run over time and again, and just like that, we get another jump in. Doesn't quite get the full confirm, but they're ever closer to putting Pokey back against that P2 wall. Mm -hmm. Nice, good air confirmed there, coming out from Pokey. Ooh, okay, hit him with the hats off. Using that four Fierce to kind of thread the needle on the offense, maybe get Naji to push. There's the grab here. Okay, all right, good stuff on Pokey, not biting, but the EXDP checks the temperature. All right, here we go. Activation time. Okay, good blocks. Locking out a majority of this. Oh, he tried to... I'm not sure what that was, but... Regardless, Pokey taking the uh, the that round there. Yeah, round one, definitely a little bit more of a better effort there. Nice little pickup here from Pokey, able to push towards that P2 corner. Mm -hmm. Finding a little bit of a better range to be playing at so far, but just as I say that, again, back thrown to the corner. Going to be forced to block out for a while. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. Did that hit from behind? It looked like she was already over. Whoa, what is going on? I think because of the crouch animation, it just kind of looked different. I think it was always going to land in front, but Falk goes huh. real low to scoop up from there. But either yeah. way, big damage from this. Great V-shift on the back, back, back throw. That's what I'm looking for. Nice. Nice. Good composure there from Pokey. Closing out that round there, making it 1-1 one, one a piece in this set. And again, like we said earlier, this is only a first of two. This is not even, I don't even think this is a top 16 territory yet. So it's just going to get even more intense as we move further and deeper into this bracket. But let's see which of these players are going to move forward here. Will it be Pokey or will it be Najee? Let's find out. All right, couple forward throws going through here. Oh, didn't quite get the confirm they were looking for off that jump in. But now, yeah, spacing up again. Working overtime. Oh, wow. Okay. Pokey landed on the projectile. Skimming it along the ground and then just jumped in on it. Oh, she's in this, in this box. Probably going to force to use a meter. Oh. Wow, okay, interesting. Gets out of corner. These dash ups are so brave from Naji, but they're not getting checked by Pokey. Okay. Four fierce. Nice. Nice. And I respect the idea from Pokey doing the uh, the EX air shot to kind of delay the landing maneuver just in case Naji already had pressed the button, but Naji already uh, caught him. But right now, Naji's sitting on set point. Okay. Yeah, definitely has Whoa. the lead. Looking to push this life lead even further. Another throw. Pokey's definitely been struggling against those tonight. Yeah, keep it contained into this box here. But okay, this is a good start from Pokey. Big damage. Stun is a factor. All right, we're waiting it out. Okay. Defense. This gray life is adding up. Oh, oh. EX? Yep. Get off of me. <laughs> Like the idea that activation is still going though for Naji gets the knockdown too, tries to meet you with projectile, but chases the V shift, and that'll do it. Nice, nice, really good stuff from Naji. A friend, you know, smell, smell blood in the water there, knowing that Pokey tried to get a retreat in to like kind of reset that neutral. You saw this, so okay. not unheard of, so it makes sense. Uh, you know, my Lynn, obviously. Also very strong with this character, put in the practice. And against Ken, I think it's a little interesting, right? Because Ken's can be just so wild. As we're seeing, you already got that jump in. We got that V skill to V trigger to Ken for good measure. So let's see what my lane can do with this matchup. Already activates, already got the Molotovs out. Interesting. Nice. All right, you can grab it. Oh no, a big punish. For my land. I think this may be stun territory. It is, and he's still resting in the fire. Okay. Yeah, no, that knew that the scaling game. was ridiculous on that stun, so didn't push too much for it. But all right. Okay, we just got these uh these raw V skill twos coming out there. Oh, oh that was close. Definitely an odd approach. 
What is what is the frame data on that? Is it good enough to just rock like that? Nah. Nah? Okay. <laughs> nah, like, I didn't think I think so. Just, I, I think it's just a temperature check, really. Because, you know, you're going to get punished for just doing it at close like that. Uh, V skill two uncharged. Oh, it's minus two. All right, that's that's usable. Yeah. Minus two. You're not gonna get punished, but you're not gonna get not punished. If you manage to get it charged, though, it's plus three shadow ace. Yeah, have to, big gotta, big gotta change. You're <laughs> oh, unprotected. V skill two. What's going on? Okay. Oh, we got CA at okay. the end of this too. If anything yeah, connects from it. here on out, I think you're done. Both sides, actually. Oh, I, mean, I like that. We have not canceled from EX. It's a V trigger. V trigger. Uh, V trigger. I don't think you would want to. I think the scaling would be too high. That time, definitely thought he had the confirm. Very much did not. All right, my win. Taking the, the first game here. Just really, really interesting pace, you know, in regards to the matchup. Good stuff on my lane for, you know, keeping composure and just kind of work, uh, watching high speed chaos, you know, do things. And, you know, and that could throw you off. That could definitely just throw you off because it would be like a hard rhythm to track when you're fighting against your opponent. But, you know, if you keep your composure and you can kind of fight it a little bit better. But let's see what this game two looks like. Oh, cannot be just running DPs like that, man. Yeah, yo, similar how the first game went, you know? But High Speed Chaos isn't going to stop being High Speed Chaos. You know, look That's at true. his name. He has to live up to his moniker. His name is High Speed Chaos, not Slow Speed. You know what I'm saying? High Speed. Yeah, but do you, do you really have to live up to your moniker? I don't think you do. I mean, you can't be named High Speed Chaos and just walk. You know, I, I want to see high speed. I want to see high speed chaos learn like Manat. I'll play like a really slow. Uh, play Dawson and be named high speed chaos. That's <laughs> gonna be enough damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. nice. All right. So right now, Island is sitting on that point here against uh, high speed chaos. You know, no, no, no uh, changes from Hashi Cast. Still going in. That same gameplay has a good corner control. Can he keep it though? Okay. It's the MVP. Gets the grab again. Hashi Chaos is on a good start. Okay. Tries to get in there with that negative two. Forces the V reversal out. Interesting enough. That time the counter comes through. Mylin could start to make this comeback happen, even though they, they're not that super stacked meter wise. Mm hmm. Buttons here, nice to confirm here from high speed. Not oh, there. just needs one more. Yeah, the Spanish draw could have been into something, but oh, lands on the fireball. High speed chaos staying alive for that round, but he needs more. He says, it's time to put on the power stone. I got three, I got three of these gems. Let's go, Doc. I don't think I've ever seen this costume before. Yeah. That's the power stone. Capcom, please. Power stone three. One day. All right, back to the match here. Okay. Karaj counter coming through. Taking to the P1 side. This is definitely tough for high speed chaos. Has to be reverse with the plus frames there. Okay. Nice EX here. Oh, yo, dash up into V skill too. Okay, that's different. Are we letting it rock? is. Certainly odd. I can't say I've ever seen this type of game plan before. <laughs> Counter hit. Negative two. That's the charge. That's plus three. Negative two. Look, this is this match is called negative two. That's what we're just gonna call the whole entire set. Negative two. It, it's true, negative but two. like Mylin doesn't typically they don't seem to really care. Oh no! Oh. You just lost <laughs> What? No confirm it this critical for Mylin! Hold that on. You, that should have been it. Oh, that should have been it. That could have been all she wrote. But I think if Mala could chip down, right? Oh my! Oh, it's not enough. enough. Okay. Oh my! God. Oh, that's that's 
not like this. Ah, uh, that was oh a spaghetti round. Is what that was. All of the spaghetti. Yo, one game. Yo, one one between these two. It's only a first or two. Oh my goodness. But you know what? The amount they can shake it off. It happens to the best of us. Let's see what the game three looks like though. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah negative two. Lost the armor. Yeah, the, so yeah, the power, the timer ran off so was, uh, after he got three stones. Nice good grab here. It's a pretty good start so far for high speed chaos. Gotta get the cross cut there. Mylin might have found an answer to the V skill too, though. We'll see what happens after the next one. Oh, nice. Good anti air. All right, backs off. Let's see. High speed is calculating. It's calculating. He's, he's walking forward menacingly. Here we go. Negative two. All right, button presses. Nice anti air with the crouching medium anti -air punch. Is there. Good grab. CA now available here for my Lin, though. Doesn't get the chance to use it. We're going to land onto the DP. Oh Set point now for High Speed Chaos. Yo, what a turnaround. It, it can't go down like this, not. I refuse. And we got the three stones again. It's time to activate. We're playing Power Stone. Let's go. We are officially playing Power Stone here. Yeah, my Lin definitely going to need something to come through here. Okay. Okay, nice confirm here. High speed chaos. Makes no blood in the water. The aggression is real. We got Challenges. Two. Okay, here we go. Activation for Mylan. Not out of here just yet. It's not over till it's over, Doc. Okay. Oh, just missed the anti air attempt. Doesn't need it, though. Mm -hmm. Gonna fight their way out of the corner with this back throw. Now they got all this field to work with. Cancel into the well, CA. I think that's yes, enough. I think that's enough. Yes, I think you're are. dead. Yeah, that's it. You're done, though. Going for the last game, last round. Final game. Does he lose the armor? Let's find out. You got the costume code. I mean, you so lost, right? You... Yeah. Oh. Man, oh, that's no, cheap. The armor. It's power up. It's that's power cheap. Up. You lost. <laughs> power ups go away on death. That's how it always works. All right, let's see. The next to this round. Winner this next round moves forward into the bracket here. High speed chaos on full resources. I think mine is too worried about that. They're gonna run their game plan. So yeah. winner here does have to go up against Punk. So do keep that in mind. All right, counter okay. hit there on the V skill charge. Yeah. I right, didn't commit to the combo. May not have believed it would have hit. Here we go. Go for into the activation. Here comes the uh, my lane. Side yeah. switch. We want the corner. Yeah, we definitely want to hold on to this corner as long as possible. Maybe yeah. start getting some throws looping in here. I'm curious if they're going to spend this EX or try and hold on to it for another critical art finish, but you you definitely have to, you know, take advantage of those plus twos when you can get them. Mm -hmm. Ball top goes wide. In, yeah, any confirm into all the uh, Vs, Vs trigger two into super is going to take it for sure. So it has to be chaos. Okay. All right. Wishing for it. Low forward. Into the fireball, maybe. Oh no, the spacing! Oh my gosh! Goodbye. Patience from my Lin. Yeah, my Lin holding on right until the end there. Getting that spacing down just perfectly enough to get the punish. So they get to move on. Whereas we'll see High Speed Chaos down on the secondary stream as they do head on over to the loser's bracket. So if you guys want to check out. Yeah. And a character that's, you know, pretty. Pretty controversial, I would say, in small circles that people talk about and discuss. But uh, we're going to get into this match right here. Here's another character that you just might not see too often. Rose, uh, let's see how this matchup plays out. Yeah, this will be an interesting one. I haven't seen a lot of Roses. I do know that the character is not the worst. But Ed is definitely a powerhouse right now. And as x has clearly shown week after week after week, they were going for a fourth throw. They were going but for a fourth throw. The, the character's great. And I think it's going to be tough for Rose to, to beat out a lot of what Ed has on the table. But mm -hmm. Elder Goose would definitely be one of the players, I think, to showcase if it's possible. Oh, for sure. Look at this aggression. Oh, there it is. Just had to be just a little bit of a more patient there. 
and you know Goose could have had that stun, but committed to the craft. Here comes Big Perp. If anybody no! got me, Big Perp got me. Okay, Big Perp got me. That's tough. Lots of players are uh, trying to figure out how to beat that V trigger one from Ed, but they seem to be doing it in real time. <laughs> like they always come into a match and just like try something. Like even if it's just once, they'll be like, "This will work," and then they get exploded, and it's like, "Nope, that that didn't work." Unfortunately, the idea is there, but the move just didn't have enough invincible frames that time. Yeah, I mean, most the most common advice would be to like block, but uh, you know, <laughs> it's so risky though. <laughs> risky, you know, you still take the gray damage, you take the emotional damage, but uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, into the corner here, and that's going into work. Gets the gets the uh, the crush counter. Big damage, grab, push was real. Oh. <laughs> That's grimy. That whole series of events was Please. just gross. Please. That whole entire corner sequence from Finesse put a put a smile on my face. Now, I'm not saying that because I'm an Ed player as well, but I am saying that because I'm an Ed player as well. But let's get into this game two, Doc. To see what uh, adjustments Elder Goose can make. I'm, because I was gonna say, I'm trying to think like what Ooh. Elder Goose could have even done in that scenario, right? Like literally, what were their options? Because once the start pressure started being really applied, they went to the V reversal, and maybe it's just a super telegraphed V reversal there that you know because of the projectile, that's your moment. But Finesse just grabbed him out of it, and it's like, what else am I to do? It's Rose. Mm, look at this. This this is a relentless. Corner pressure, man. Just really good, strong from finesse. And the fact that Ed is a character that can keep you there, uh, you know, regardless of, uh, you know, without the meter, you know, because there's a threat of flicker, throw game, uh, you know, it's better now. And just a lot of tools and resources that Ed has access to to keep his opponent at bay if they don't know how to deal with it or find the gaps in the offense. Anti-air comes in, built-in mix-up as well, going to the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. A bit of a floor paint to kind of observe. Okay, interesting. He got the hit, but backed off. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay. Right, it gets a little bit of a again. confirm. I like that. Oh, but it's time. We are in there now. Yeah, you just just block it. No. Out, you, don't have to do you just block it. You just gotta block. But like, it's so tough to say just block because mid screen he can push you out of it. That said, not enough damage here to close it out. Does get the shimmy okay. though. The no mix shimmy, back throw just to keep it him. alive. Just stares at him. I. You know what? I, I felt that was an emotional ending toward that round because just just staring like, yo, what is this character? That's what you think about. You get that five second stare down. You just like, yo, what am I fighting against? Oof. All right, here we go. Elder Goose, Elder Goose uh, fighting back though. Elder Goose definitely figured out this spacing pretty quick. And again, as I say that, they, they get crushed. But mm -hmm. th that last round was definitely so much better than game one. Not only did they win it, first of all, but just from start to finish, it looked so much cleaner. And now we're going to get an activation here. Teleports out of the corner. Does not I want like to hold that flicker pressure, but oh no. Critical art. Not going to need it. Oh. Just spends a little bit of the EX. Yeah, we got two. We got the threat of two flickers into the EX. Oh, one. Oh, never mind. We're establishing pressure here. Yeah. Oh, crime swipe? Yeah, punish right there. Very good stuff from uh, Finesse here. I felt like Elder Goose was coming around, but it was it was interesting because they got several hits, but they backed up and did it again. Maybe, I don't know if they were looking for EX reversal or anything of that nature, but I felt like they got rid of the pressure that they could have mounted on for Finesse to force him to make a decision and then get the punish. But... Um, cup. So it does make sense to, to get the loop practice in, whether playing as or against it, right? Because you're probably going to need it on both sides. Mm. Oh, for sure, man. Definitely. I'm, I'm, I already have a feeling that the size of, uh, you know, a, a lot of people going to be using this character there. So why not get as much practice as possible against it and playing as it? 
Listen, as the future of Street Fighter, I think it only makes sense that of a 32-man Capcom Cup bracket, you should have 32 Lukes. It just makes sense, right? I think that's how it should go, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom makes that the rule, that you have to play Luke for Capcom Cup. Yo! <laughs> the suppressure! Oh, hold that! I don't know if we've lost Shadow Ace with my uh, with my Capcom rules. <laughs> I was just I was just amazed at the display of Luke that I'm seeing on my screen right now. I said, Do I, I, I gotta commentate a Luke mirror? Is this really happening right now on my screen? I'm. I would venture it might not be the only one we have tonight either. So you might you might want to get used to it. As we see. Marv starting to make this comeback a little bit happening. Both players fully decked out with channel points and critical arts. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We got the activation here. Okay. Oh, EX. Got the EX. About even on light. Let's see. Blowing it out. Blah, blah, blah. We still have activation here from Marv, too. That is... It had to be misinput. It had to have been misinput. <laughs> I don't know about that. And that actually might cost them the round. Now that you think about it, right? Like they don't have V trigger yeah. anymore. They have a V reversal, but Space Boy is fully content to just sit back and throw sand at them. And yeah, that'll do it. Oh, it wasn't 2 0 that whole time, chat. My bad. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We'll get that, get that taken care of. Just like uh, Space Boy got in the first game taken care of. With the uh, with the Luke here, um, you know, does Marv swap out to another character? Are we going back to character select screen? Okay, all right, all right. Maybe it's time for the Akira or Karin. We'll find out. Yeah, I mean, Space Boy, I believe, is locked into Luke by the rules, so we'll see that from Space Boy. But I do wonder what Marv, if anything, even swaps to. Right, could just need a breather. Right, doesn't necessarily need to go back to the character select screen to swap out to a different character or a different, you know, V system. You could just be like, man, that was kind of a that was kind of tough. I need a minute. So you go back to the character select screen, you take a deep breath, you load back in, and then you just run the set again. So we'll find out in just a second. I I agree with the decision. Yeah, because you know you don't want to ready up too fast. You want to. Think about it a little bit. Hmm, what could I have done here? What could I have done there? Um, you know, regain your nerve, regain the composure, and then uh, dive back into it. But we're going to the mainstay character, Karin Kanzuki. Yeah, here we go. And this is only uh, for round three, so we're we're almost there. We're almost knocking on the door on top eight territory. But let's see who answers right here. Will it be uh, Space Boy or Marv? Yeah, this is definitely an interesting matchup. You know, Crane obviously falling down the tier list quite a few rungs. Uh, we still have seen some players, you know, picking her up, though. Obviously, we saw the farewell tournament from Punk a few weeks ago, uh, you know, taking place here at the Casa household, saying goodbye to uh, Karen. And there's been a couple other players in the brackets. Marv, obviously, one of them, that are still rocking with this character. But I don't know, man. Space Boy, especially on Luke, is just such a threat. Yeah, Luke is definitely such a polarizing character because it's he's a character that has advancing normals, right? So that's going to increase the pushback on um, block and you know put you towards the corner where he can really get the party started. So you know you gotta gotta fight to get this character to avoid that situation. But here we go, we got the activation though coming out from uh, from Space Boy. Let's see? Oh, okay. Probably try to go for just a walk up toss, walk up throw, shimmy. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, no. The last yeah. little bit of the V trigger available there, closing it out with the whiff punish. Set point now here for Space Boy. Space Boy looking really a controller to this matchup. Nice good hits here for Mar. Back throw to take control of the corner. Has V trigger again already. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we get an activation next hit. Nice. From the standing short. Confirm there from downtown. Again, into the Went corner. for the suppressor, oh, but got counter hit. Yeah. Oh, CA? 
Oh, not yet. Too I much scaling. Even cancel to it. Okay. Hold on. Chip is now starting to become a factor, which means Marv cannot activate. They need to save that V meter for a reversal, and it's gonna be the suppressor. Yo. That's crazy. He just walked That's up crazy. and did it. He just did it. I, I count that as a DP, by the way, Space Boy. I, I, I count that as a walk-up DP. See which uh, one of these players eats their peas, you know, with the big spoon. So here we go. Well, not the fireball. Yeah, just gets that target combo in there. Follows it up with a nice little whiff punish. I mean, this character is still so good for Plunk's, Plunk's playstyle, right? Like, these advancing normals just crush a lot of different options for other characters. So, he's going to be out here spacing people out, making sure they get their, their uh, six feet apart in. But Shine starting to make a little bit of a comeback here. Okay, jabbing for the activation here. Let's see, the tech uh, coming in for Plunk. Back to four. See, still has access to that V trigger too, uh, as well from Shine Green. But here we go into the activation for the Shuriken. See, side switch. No, stay the front, but yo, the EXDP with a bust out the walk back from Punk into the target combo for the, for the KO. Yeah, Punk, Punk was just ready for it, right? Shine not respecting the potential breakout there in the corner, but it's also, you know, you got to force that on them, right? You have to be somewhat aware that it's an option potentially, but with the amount of health that Shine had, it's also kind of like, eh, I, I got to do it, right? I have to at least do something. So let him DP. If he chooses not to, I get to run the mix. Okay, here we go. I can make it time for the pump. But I think, I always think, uh, you know, Luke's new trigger, of course, has his own unique system. Um, by it just doesn't go away until he gets hits or he uses it. So the fact that, you know, he could activate and kind of decide the course of the match just off the of strength of one activation is this kind of insane, you know? Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen, you know, some variations of the trigger system throughout Street Fighter V's, you know, lifespan. Obviously, Nikali had the permanent V-trigger initially, and then it became the the decreasing one. And then Luke came out, and we we're like, man, why would they change the V-trigger like this? And the Street Fighter VI announcement, and we're like, oh, now it makes sense. But, yeah, I mean, it can swing just so wide if you're patient with it, right? Sometimes we'll see the Lukes activate and just throw it out there, right? Not hold on to any of that meter, spend it as fast as they earned it, and find themselves out of trigger once again. But it is still a playstyle yep. to, to play space spaciously with it. Yeah, and then the pack is, you know, when you say they spend it so fast, they could possibly get another one because it's a two-bar V trigger. Yeah. Uh, this is the same round towards the end, so. It's all also, because his V skills uh, aren't, his V skills aren't bad either. So like you, it's not like one of those characters where it's like your trigger is amazing and your V skill is not that worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And again, so, this is uh, our round three match. So again, this is the first two to decide who gets into our oh, top the cross up match. Oh my gosh, good hits. And Shine does have that V trigger available, gets the activation off of the full release, goes for the Schmix though, and now you're fighting against Luke with no Kunai. Is that enough? No big damage. That's he too much damage. To what? Shine, are you kidding me? Gosh. What Shine is this? The V trigger completely gapping him and taking him right in front of Punk, who had no option except to finish the V-Trigger activation. Ayo. <laughs> oh, I, I gave the point to the wrong person. That was absolutely I, ridiculous. Shine, please. Alright, we're going ahead for the game, too, though. Punk, of course, you know, shaking it off here, getting right back to work. That's devil work. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to clock in overtime if he wants to move forward into the top eight. Ooh, gosh. All right, activation time. Here comes Shine. No way. Once no again, way. getting caught out by the Ninja Tricks. Gets the full release into the stun. Is that enough to close it out, though? I don't think so. EXDP oh, yeah, into the corner. Nice. Good counter hit confirmed there. Of Shine and Shine right now sitting on set point, looking to uh, two old punk here on this road to the top eight. That would be a crazy pickup. 
not unexpected to be sure. Shine's obviously done it before, but this is also just an interesting matchup, right? How often are we going to be seeing Ibuki versus Luke, you know, at this stage of Street Fighter V? And Punk going to go up, get the air to air, takes full control of this P1 corner. Yep. Okay, uh, Punk's fed up right now. He's, he's going in. Oh, he didn't get to confirm from the medium punch. Gets That's hit by both sides of the shuriken. Yeah. Okay, we got defense. RC with the activation now. Throwing it out. Be sure to one. Is that That's enough. Hits? Oh, no. Doesn't spend any cash. Doesn't need to. Okay. Stays greedy. Okay. Stays ahead. He invests in the future of the set. I were. I respect it. So right now, both players coming in with three balls on the side. We got one that's spent already. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Shine's gonna go ahead and spend one as well. Nice grab there. All right, pushing, pump pushing, uh, Shine into the corner. Oh no, the piercing attack comes out and that is so much damage coming back. This might be a guess for game situation, actually. It is. Good damage here from, uh, from Punk. Nice up. Yeah, this is still. Even, I mean, he'll take all of this. This is fine. Ooh, that's definitely still tough for Shine. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Abuki, uh, definitely not a really big damaging character, mm. but a character that can sort of just thread the needle like like little hit confirms here and there. Her damage Ooh, isn't too weird. explosive, so she has to work even harder you know if your opponent has a life lead to try to come back through but good stuff to punk is one one right now and uh again we got one more game to see which of these players is going into uh, the top eight side okay. sandblast sandblast pocket sand please nice throw infinite pocket stand coming through mm -hmm. No problem. Oof. Hit him with the rising. He said, you know what? That 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 highlight was kind of cute, uh, Sean. But I'm playing the future of the franchise right now. This is the, the future of the franchise. I, my, my name was on the box cover on the next game. I, I can't be low tier. Let's go. He, he is the box cover of the next game. <laughs> like this. Not even a little bit of hiding that. But, I mean, advancing normals coming out strong over the Ibuki matchup. Here it is in the knockdown. Future of the franchise. Ooh. EXDP hits his mark. Probably looking for a low forward. Hit the activation. But no, Ooh. doesn't get it. Oh, did I curse it? Did yeah, I... that's enough. That'll be a done oh, deal. So Punk with the reverse. With Doc. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's just, you know, New York's hopes and dreams being crushed by Luke. It's okay. Is Abigail seeing uh, Najee's jury? We saw a bit earlier here in the broadcast. On the verge of getting in the top eight. Let's see which player can do it. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. We've seen this matchup quite a bit here. Obviously, uh, you know, we had Kiyu showing up week after week, going up against Mad Gear specifically. So it is this V-Trigger 1 jury, which uh, we don't see a lot here at Casa, but it is the uh, the norm for these players. But nice armor through with the EX baby throw. Not quite close enough there. Okay, Activation. Activation. Yeah, it's fine. Abigail's a character that could take, take a little bit of damage here and there. Ooh. Oh, wow. Interesting. Hey, the thank you. Hit him right into the fire. <laughs> okay. Oh, the parry actually got beat out there. But thank you to Shadow Royalty for the raid. Hope you guys had a great show over at DNF. Welcome here. Is that enough? I think you're dead. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he's V Trigger. Yeah, V Trigger. So I thought it was V Trigger one. So, so he's. All right. Here we go. It's because we were just talking about Jerry's V Trigger. <laughs> nice VP. Good tech. Yeah, great tech coming through here. Still getting whiff punished though with that Abigail punch. Back and forth here between both players. Nice. And Najee's doing a really good job of just uh, taking his time and uh, observing the situation for Maggie. But Maggie slowly getting in, getting the knockdown, and this could be the start of trouble, Doc. 
No! What did he just kick? Oh, Najee tried to. Goodness I, I think they tried to EX underneath. And they just got booted in the mouth. That's they tough. Want EXDP instead, Doc. Did they, really, did they want EXDP in that I situation? Have to imagine. I would have to say yes. But I yes. also am just curious if they just thought that it wasn't going to be a jump, right? Maybe they were just trying to go for the EX out of the corner into activation. But I, I don't know. Either way, it's game one in the books. Heading into game two here. Another whiff DP. That is an immense amount of damage to be taking for no reason. And you're going to push in this corner. And we're just getting started on the round two as well. Nope, get back into the corner. I'm not done. The operator, I mean, uh, the surgeon is not done doing the surgery. Get back into the corner. There we go. Trying to space it out. Again, Something what is sure? this? Interesting choice. Okay. Parry's on through. Gets the yeah. knockdown. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Oh my gosh. She died but, to his belly button. Yeah, I mean, Insane. the parry. Parry coming out here, <laughs> honestly, kind of crazy. Yeah. Right, you know what thought idea, just. Right, you know what thought just crossed my mind? If we ever get another live action Street Fighter movie, we can have Batista play Abigail. He could, but I, I don't I don't know. He's, he's uh, kind of indifferent on his acting roles nowadays. Nice. Oh, activation. activation. Doesn't get the confirm like though. Ooh, nice. Good confirm here. Good tech. Backs up. Just trying to take advantage of this life lead. They don't want to get too risky anymore because, especially with that activation for Mad Gear, they can just pump out the damage. But again, the jump in. Yeah, we're going to spin it for sure. Critical art? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think you're dead. Is that, is that, gonna, is that She's done? She's not done. She's not done. She's all right. She's all right. All right, yeah. Okay. Guess for game. Guess for game. Yeah. Oh. In the arms of an angel. Yeah. There it is. Abigail Mag wins. here. Head, head strong since the way in the, the top eight on winner's side. As Shadow Ace was just saying, we got X Finesse versus Dead Eye Artist, Jury versus Ed. This is definitely going to be an interesting matchup to be sure. And it, I think it's going to be a little bit slower, right? I think both players are going to try and calm it down and get these whiff punishes in. Mm -hmm. And Flicker is definitely going to be a lot of mileage here, um, especially in this type of matchup where Jury is a character, of course, that's got to get close to you to get her stuff started. But Flicker is a move that's really just, you know, get back, you're too close to me. And uh, it's going to check some of the Dead Eye Arts' buttons. Cheap. Yeah. Definitely taking full advantage of those plus frames after the fireball there with the EX and just crushing the counter there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, one, two, three. Yo, beautiful, beautiful anti airs here coming out from Finesse. Um, placing is really good. One, two, three, three. Gets away okay. from the stun bar and the back throw just to throw some extra pain in there. Oh, we got shimmies? Oh, we got those. Okay. Okay. There's more work to do. Stun on the factor, but we got the EX one button DP activation pushes him out of the bubble. And chat, this is what I'm talking about. You can't just block it, especially when you're mid screen like that. He will take advantage of it and push you out, throw you, anything like that, and your your escape options become quite limited. And that was very interesting, uh, interesting trade sequence. Unfortunately, he didn't get the round here. But that was an interesting awareness observation from uh, from Dead Eye Artist because he waited to the later frames of the, you know, the ball before busting out the EXDP instead of just immediately, you know, going for it and risking even more damage. So he was willing to take the trade, but for less damage. So that was actually uh, an interesting sequence there from uh, Finesse. But let's see what this... Uh, this next uh, this next game looks like. Yeah, I would like to see a little bit more adjustments from Dead Eye Artist. It wasn't a it wasn't a bad round by any means, bad game by any means. But like you said, the the trade 
while interesting, just it puts you on the back foot, especially with the timing of it. And other than that, the the spacing is where they're really getting beat up here. But it's tough against Ed. It's not an easy thing to do to play this spacing game properly, especially when at any point you can just chuck the flicker out. Here we got the V-Trigger 1. Blocks most of it. Going to get backed up onto it, though. Delay rise, right call. Definitely right call. EXDP says gets off, gets off of me. Has V-Trigger in that back pocket and one, uh, one bar. The EX2 as well. But flicker, any flicker to EX knockdown is gonna spell disaster for uh, Dead Eye Artist here. Yeah, and even with the activation here, you still have a lot of work to do, right? You don't have CA, the trigger is now gone, and you're staring down an Ed that has two CA, or two EX meters, and just about another V trigger if you think about it. There it is, second V trigger. You gotta block the bubblegum again. Oh no. Okay, set immediate punch. Oh, that's death. That's death. That's death. Man, that is wow. tough. What a punish, though. What a punish from Finesse. All right, Finesse right now sitting on uh, set point here. Okay. Yeah. This is for top eight, by the way, chat. Winner side. So, in fact, Finesse can just close this out. They're one step closer to a three-peat here in the Casa Street Fighter singles. Yep. Activation okay. here from Activation here. Think of the cross up though. Okay. Nice. Okay, here he is. Interesting knockdown. I have these skills to the other side, but we've already seen this before. EXDP checks the temperature. Still it's trapped in the corner though. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot. <gasps> Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was definitely wow. interesting that the V-Ship didn't catch anything. Yeah. He did, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, Finesse is going to take that. But he did, that was so, it was interesting because he would have put the, uh, the V-Ship there into the corner. It was a little closer, but uh, I think he was using Ed's crouch and fierce there, so it didn't hit. Um, but good stuff than what I had in mind, but... Let's see what happens. Space Boy does play uh, some Akira for sure. But Kaba going That's true. with the Guile. So, yeah, and I have to that. imagine it's it's matchup thing, right? Like the Akira versus the Guile versus the Luke versus the Guile. So I, I think Space Boy has a plan here, and I think they just kind of had the read that it was going to be Kaba Guile. Yeah, and it's just navigating through this projectile like minefield here is going to be difficult for, for Akira. So. I just I wonder what the you know the strategy is on how you know Space Boy is even gonna get close, especially against a player of this caliber that is Kaba. Yeah, I, I think a lot of it might actually boil down to like EX shoulder charge, honestly, trying to bridge that gap closely and as quickly as possible. But right there, not exactly getting the chance to do it, so we're gonna be finding ourselves. Oh, are uh, We're gonna be finding ourselves round over to Kaba. Mm -hmm. Take it for the first game, just pretty much, you know, cool, calm, and collected. Going after projectiles, but here's a good start from Space Boy. Does get the launcher. Oh, big oh, damage yeah. opportunity. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna get the stun. So scaling is gonna be a factor, but uh, I guess Space Boy wants to maximize the meter. Try to get some. I don't even think she can build that bar though. Okay. It just but does it again. So nice, you gotta do it twice. Wait a second. Yeah, you're probably saying, yo, I don't think Space Boy is going to expect me to do it a second time. <laughs> you would be wrong. <laughs> we got the Dr. Pepper coming through here as well. This matchup is Cheeks for Akira. His plan is to have fun. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't think... Is that what it is? That, is that's that what... what, is? That what is? That's what Cole's playing out there that's, in the street. Yeah, that's what he's saying right oh, now. Which, honestly, it could be true, right? We're in top eight qualifiers here. It's still first to two, and it's tied up one apiece round-wise. So we'll have to see if if he wins. Obviously, we stick with the Akira. If he loses, though, he still has all the opportunity in the world to swap to a different character. Shoulders yeah. in. Spent the V-Trigger meter as well. Exactly. Just can't get in. Defense looking like Fort Knox right here. Just very, very solid gal zoning pressure here from uh, 
Okaba and Space Boy, they had a good hang, hang, uh, handle on the, the previous rounds, but I think that mostly became from the damage from getting the two uh, crush counter punishes from the EX flash kick. But we'll see. We're locked in. This is the, the pick that he's going to go with, Doc. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that makes sense for Space Boy, too, right? Like, I, you know, he, he plays the Akira a lot. I'm thinking back to, like, East Coast Throwdown when he specifically told people that he was only going to play Luke for the rest of the tournament, and then we all look over, and he's playing Akira again. And I'm just like, come on, man. So definitely loves to play this character. So yeah. practice is going to be relevant regardless, I think, of what his, his current Capcom Cup plans are. So love to see if he can close this health gap. Does bust out with the EXDP. Nell Bomb with the Young Raid. Thank you. Buddy, what's going on, man? Hope you had a good show. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're just on the verge of solidifying our top eight on winter side. So welcome. Take off your shoes and relax. You know what I'm saying? Stay cold is gonna get you guys some drinks. Make sure you're good to go. Went back to this matchup here. Get low forward. Coming out from uh, from Kaba. Good damage though. Yeah, Space it's basically universals. Oh, we're back to the square one, Doc. The zoning game. Yeah, this is tough. It, he does get the, the bonus of being so close to the corner already, and just like that goes low. Only needs one more touch, but he gets sweeped. The sweep wasn't enough to kill, but the EX boom is catching uh, catching Space Boy doing something there. But right now, Kaba is getting on set point. Yeah, set point to be moving on to the winner's side. And Space Boy's definitely showing signs of life. This pick hasn't been a complete wash, thankfully, but cross cut, flash kick coming out there. That is a thing indeed. All right, EX shoulder. Ready, Mon? Not ready, Mon. That's how I can pronounce it. All right, here we go. Okay. Wow, want to confirm from the cross and heavy? Space Boy, maybe showing signs of life, but here we go with the V trigger activation. Kaba trying to push forward, regain back control for the neutral. Alright. It's like that? That's how you feel? Yeah, why not? Right, oh, we'll I thought there was going to be enough. Space Boy fully decked out on points. Spends it to get that EX charge in. Does it again. And he's just he's just fishing, honestly. To yeah. spend you all of his like resources. He's going down back, so you like, yo, he might EX flash kick me to death. Mm -hmm. Does he get the confirm? Oh, yeah, that was a tough end. Yeah. Space Boy, you know, was fully loaded. Three bars of EX meter, full V trigger, and literally spent all of it in like half a second and didn't get mm. anything for it. So Kaba nice. recognizing that, able to just continue down backing and close out the game. Any of these counter pokes that Itachi's Legacy is throwing out. Wow, the patience to wait for the kite, but still comes down with a button. Does Itachi's Legacy? Are we gonna stay same side? Yes, we are. We're gonna go for the throw on the reset. A second throw? That was gonna be three. Yes, yes. You always go for three.